Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you are about to launch a new product on Amazon and you want to know what the best way is to set up your PPC campaigns or you're selling already and your existing PPC campaigns are not performing the way you expected, then this video is for you. And for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Chris. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller. And over the last years, I have managed hundreds of products, hundreds of PPC campaigns across all niches and all kinds of products. And what I'm about to show you in this video is by far the most effective strategy for all those niches and products. So no matter what you're selling, this is the way to go. And there are three key things you need to get right in order to start selling successfully with Amazon PPC. First is targeting the right keywords and ASINs. Second, setting up your PPC campaigns correctly. And third is spending your ad budget wisely. And I'll show you how that works step by step in this video. And make sure you stick around until the end because I'll show you how you can rank well for expensive keywords paying only a third of what other sellers are paying. And that's enough of an intro and now let's get the ball rolling with finding the perfect targets for your PPC campaigns. Okay, and the first thing we want to do is to search for the main keyword of our product. So we are going to Amazon and now for this demonstration, let's assume that we are selling a beautiful garden hose, maybe just like this one. So what I have done is I search for garden hose in that case or water hose, and then you see the different products here. So what we want to do first is we'll open up the X-ray tool of Helium 10. Okay, so we want to find now our top competitors and we want to find out the keywords that they are using. Now we will see here in a second who of our competitors are doing extremely well. So we are going to find out which keywords they are targeting with their PPC campaigns. And we can do that easily with the Cerebro tool of Helium 10. We will not be relying on that solely. We will also use a magnet search later on in Helium 10. So first thing we want to do is go through the search results and pick our top competitors. Now make sure to write them down as well, the ones you pick, because we will want to target them later in another manual PPC campaign. We'll set up a few campaigns. I'll uh, talk more about that in the second part of the video. Okay, so now we go through the products here and we want to pick our top competitors means they are in a similar price range and also similar products. So we will uh, pick this one. Let's say we're selling this product, okay? It's, uh, similar to this one. So we will pick this one as well. And then the next one, okay? And then you go through and you want to pick five to seven of your main competitors. Okay, now we have six of them. That should be enough. If you are in a smaller niche, it's also okay if you have four or five. Now we, what we want to do is we want to go to Cerebro. You can click run Cerebro right here. And now we can find out which keywords those main competitors are targeting and we will use those uh, keywords that we are getting right now for our first campaign which will be the broad match campaign so we wait a little bit until it is loaded and that is happening right now and we want to obviously use filter settings because if we scroll down right now we see that there are 12,000 more than 12,000 keywords and we obviously don't want to have PVC campaigns for 12,000 keywords. That is not necessary at all. Since this is a huge niche, I'm going to limit the search volume. I don't want to have keywords in that case um, where people search for it 200 times. Because it's such a huge niche, I'm going to start with a search volume of 2,000. If your niche is smaller, you can also type in 500 or 1,000 and then experiment and see what's coming up. Now, the next thing is we want to go to the uh, sponsored rank average. So we want to say we want to find their most successful keywords and we will target them. So what we want is that the sponsored rank average here is between one and 15. So really only the top keywords. Now, if we apply the filters already, then we can see it's 34. And now we can go through these results and pick the most relevant keywords for our product. So the ones that describe our product best and have a good search volume. So let's say we have a garden hose that is 100 feet. So we would pick that one. Now we can see that these top competitors, they are also targeting the Spanish name for garden hose. So we want to have that in there as well. If it has a, or is a copper bullet hose, for example, that one as well. Okay, so you pick five to 10. Now what I like to do is we go to export data, copy to clipboard, then you paste it somewhere. And then we come back to the Cerebro tool. And the next thing we want to do is we want to double check that we didn't forget any of the important keywords. So we can do that with the good old magnet tool, the keyword research tool in Helium 10. Now, if you don't have Helium 10 yet, I will include a link in the video description that gives you a huge discount on Helium 10. If you don't have it yet, make sure to use that discount. Currently, there is a 35% discount for six months, and I'll always make sure to include the best uh, discounts that are available in the video description. So you can always check it out once you want Helium 10. 
that would uh, support the channel as well. Greatly appreciate it and it helps you as well. Okay, now um, I typed in the main keyword as well to the magnet tool. We click on get keywords and now we'll do a similar search. Okay, we want to find the most relevant keywords for our product. Okay, in the same story here, now we want to tell Helium 10 that we want to find keywords only that have at least 2000 search volume, then also word count too, because otherwise it shows us keywords like only water and we don't want to target one, uh, one word keywords anyways. And then we apply the filters now we will end up with 71 keywords and now we'll go through them as well and check those if there are additional ones that we haven't found earlier. Like most likely it will be repetitive. Maybe you find one additional one. This is just to make sure you haven't forgotten any of the important keywords because if we do that, then we will lose many sales and our ranking will suffer. So make sure to go through that list, compare it to, to what you found earlier and see if you want to add one or, or two more. So what we want to do now is copy those keywords and then we already start creating our PPC campaigns. Okay, so with our keywords selected, we are going to the Seller Central Campaign Manager, we click on Add Campaign, and then you'll end up here. Now in our strategy, we will start the setup with three different sponsored products campaigns. So we click on Continue here, and then one by one, we will set up the campaigns. Now a few words regarding our strategy because there are so many misconceptions out there regarding how to do PPC after product launch. This, as I said, by far has worked for so many niches and products. So definitely stick with that strategy. It will work out. Now, the theory behind our strategy is it's not only a theory, it is what really works. So generally, I said that we have to be as effective as possible with our PPC campaigns and to make as much money for as little ad spend as possible. We can only get there. That is the end goal, yes. But we cannot get there right in the beginning. The goal of PPC campaigns in the beginning is different. It's not being as effective and efficient as possible. The goal is to get as much information as possible because we don't know right now what are the, the most effective keywords. We don't know that already. So we cannot be effective from the start. We have to give Amazon the chance to explore different keywords. And we have to learn from the data that we are getting in the beginning and then optimize it. That's the way to go. Have a setup that explores keywords, that shows us what is the most efficient keyword, and then we will optimize it later on in exact match campaigns. So now we will start with an async campaign, with a broad match campaign, and with an automatic uh, targeting campaign. That is what we need that allows us to explore. We will also be aggressive to get as much data as possible, as fast as possible, that will cost us a little bit more money in the beginning, not too much, a little bit more. And later we optimize that and we will get to our targeted margin. Okay, this is the way to go. We have to do it like this, aggressive and exploring and not so much efficiency. Efficiency after two weeks, after two weeks of running the PPC campaigns. That's very important to understand. Okay, so regarding the setup, you give it a name, whatever you want. I have brand name and then the product name and maybe a date. Then you select one of your products that you want to have in there, that you want to target. And let's say we start with the manual targeting. Okay, click manual targeting. And we want to target the keywords. We have copied them to clipboard anyways already. Now here we want to enter the list of keywords and I'll paste them right here. I don't have them selected apparently. Okay, we paste them right here. And as I said, uh, and it's one phrase per line. So you want to have it like this. As I said, we don't want an exact targeting. It's more expensive anyways. And we don't want phrase targeting. We want to have a broad targeting. So that means that, for example, if there is garden hose 100 feet green, somebody types that in, then we will also rank for that keyword. Now, if we have exact match campaign or phrase match campaign, that wouldn't be the case. So we want to be open to what people have in the search field. And then we get data for more keywords and can later target them exactly. Okay, that's important to understand. So you can add the keywords. And now I haven't selected a product, okay? But if you do select a product, then you will see a range here. For example, between 50 cents and 70 cents. What we are doing, as I said, we want to be aggressive. And aggressive in that case means we are always bidding circa or approximately 10% more than the maximum range here. So let's say here's 50 to 70. So here we would then say 79, okay, and save that. So as I said, the goal is to gather information and to get data as fast as possible. And we get that because we will have the highest bid. And Amazon PPC works like an auction house. So usually when you have a higher bid, you're getting the top spot. So we want to have that in the beginning. Remember later, I'll show you a trick how to have lower bids and still get the top positions. 
But for the beginning, we definitely need that. So we get data faster and can optimize faster as well. So we do that with all keywords, be aggressive with our bids. Regarding the bidding strategy, many people out there, many YouTubers are teaching that wrong. They suggest you after product launch to select dynamic bids down only, which is a mistake because Amazon first needs to get to know your product and is in the beginning not able to make smart decisions regarding bidding. Only when Amazon has gathered enough data, it makes useful decisions. So we want to keep the fixed bits in the beginning and after two weeks when we start optimizing our campaigns we can switch over to dynamic bits down to make it more efficient okay then you select a campaign name start and date and that's about it for our first campaign for the broad match campaign now you give it a name uh, select a start date and then you can save it as a draft or if you have your products there already you can launch the campaign right away now you go back you click on add new campaign again sponsor products and then you select a product again here. Then we want to launch our second campaign, which is again manual targeting. And in that case, we want to do the product targeting. So you copy the ASINs of the, of the products that you have identified earlier as your main competitors. And then you say enter list. Then you have expanded here, selected. Then you enter your ASINs. You do the aggressive bidding as per I explained before. And then the same here, fixed bids and launch campaign and then the automatic campaign will be automatic targeting. It's very simple the setup itself. The crux is the difficult part is to optimize it later. Um, I'll have a few videos about that on my channel. If you want to check that out you please feel free. Otherwise if you find that video useful please leave a like, subscribe, it helps me a lot. Would be amazing. So here we also increase the suggested bit by 10% then with negative keyword targeting, we are not doing that in the beginning. You have to be careful with that as well. Anyways, if you want to learn more about that, I have a detailed course in my coaching program. If you're interested in that, you can reach out to me in the video description. Okay, so the same here for the automatic campaign. The launch is pretty simple. And then you click launch campaign. And now I want to talk about the last step, which is optimizing our campaign. Okay, and what we want to do now is nothing. For two weeks, we don't want to do anything. We want our campaigns to be able to do the work, to explore other keywords, to get data. And then after two weeks, we start optimizing our campaigns. Now, there are two ways, an old way and a new way that I'd suggest I'll show you both and you can decide which one is better for you. I forgot to mention earlier regarding the budget, you want to have at least $25 budget per campaign. Now, the old way, would be to go to a sponsored products report report so you can download a report and you will select the time frame of two weeks so the last two weeks since product launch and then you'll you'd analyze that okay and what we want to do now is we want to focus on the keywords that were performing well and we want to put less of a focus on the keywords that didn't perform well okay so we will decrease the bits for the bad, badly performing keywords and will increase the bits for our, our amazingly performing keywords. And like that, we will become more and more effective. So you'd have this report, that's the old way. And I'd suggest you do that in the very beginning. Um, but once you see, okay, I make five to 10K now in revenue, then you can uh, change to the new way. So you'd see here in the report, a bunch of data and you'd basically come over to where you see the ACOS and then you can filter. Um, and see then ACOS in that case is from high to low. So there is a keyword that is now having an ACOS of 120%. So let's say in that case, that would mean if my product costs $100, I spent $120 to make one uh, sale. That is not good. We want to reduce that, okay? Um, and then here you can see the ACOS gets better and better. And here, for example, I only spent $3 if I... Um, let's say made a sale that was worth $100. This is 120%. When it's so high, we consider putting it on negative. Or we, if you say it's a little bit relevant, then you could also reduce the bid drastically by 40 to 50%. Now here, typically above 35%, we are probably losing money. So here in that case, but it's not that bad. In that case, we want uh, to reduce the bids by 10 to 20%. So in that case, here I'd say I'd reduce the bid by 15 to 20%. And here I'd reduce the bid by uh, by around 10%. So that means that here I will get less PPC visibility. So I'll spend less on these keywords. And later when I see, for example, these keywords are doing really well, I'd, you know, you analyze the keywords 
you see what which they are are they relevant and if they are you'd increase the bid here because that makes you money you want to feed them what makes you money you want to support so it makes even more money that's the principle right and let's say then the strategy would be we have now our our launch campaigns the three we did earlier we want to add after two weeks an exact match campaign so we find out for example that this keyword here made us 400 uh, euro in the first two weeks which is good and it has an ACOS of 15%. We check, is, is it very relevant? And if it is, then we create, just like we did earlier, another sponsored product campaign with the difference that we don't want broad match campaign, but we want to select exact match campaign here and we want to add those keywords in that have made us good amount of money, having a low ACOS at the same time plus being highly relevant. Okay, and then we'd add them, them to the uh, to the exact match campaign, and that is how we would get more and more effective. Then also one thing that people uh, often forget is that we also have uh, keywords that cost us money here, but we are not making any sales. So here one uh, one trick is to see to see if we have more than ten clicks on these keywords here, and they didn't make us a single sale, then you can probably put it on negative or reduce the bid here drastically. Okay, that is another tip that I can give you. Now the new way is to use Helium 10's Atomic Tool. And the Atomic Tool basically does everything that we have done so far, plus the optimization for you. So you save a lot of time and it only costs, um, it's within the diamond plan, it only costs $200 per month. So let's say your product makes 8,000 in revenue with a profit margin of 20%. That leaves you with 1,600 in pure profits. And that is something I usually invest the money that I make back into the business. And in that case, that is an investment that will make me even more money. It will save me more money. It will automatically AI generated, optimize my PPC campaigns. It saves me time so I can focus my efforts elsewhere. So that's why I use Diamond, the Diamond plan. Um, and with the Diamond plan comes the Atomic tool and it manages everything automatically. It's a little bit um, described here. I link the website um, as well as the discount code below. So you can use that. Basically it launches, it even launches your campaigns. It manages your budget, your bits. It puts negative uh, keywords automatically. So everything is automated. You can still track and control everything if you want to, but this is really the best way to save you time and to make you more money. So it's 229 uh, dollars, but if your if your PPC campaigns for one or two products or for twenty thousand or ten thousand in revenue is being managed as efficiently as possible, that is always worth it. Now, if you'd like to watch a video that is dedicated to how to use the atomic tool of Helium Ten, then let me know down below in the comments, and I'll create a video about that. And I promise you a pro tip that allows you to rank well for expensive keywords while paying less. And the trick is to achieve a good click-through rate or a better click-through rate and a better conversion rate than the other products on the market have. I have achieved that with many of my products. So the, the bid range typically is then from $1, $1 to $1.50 and I'm bidding only 80 cents or 70 cents and I get very high PPC positions. And the reason is because of the high click-through and conversion rate. And how do I achieve that? I achieve that by only launching high quality products that differ in a useful in a meaningful way from the existing products on the market. So I enhance the quality or I expand the functionality of the product by around 20 to 30%. So I make sure my, my product stands out from the competition. And additionally, I'll use high-end marketing. I'm not shying away from high marketing expenses because that is something that differs from like when you are in a store and buying products, people can touch the product. So you want to demonstrate your advantages in the best possible way. I do that. I achieve that with a partner that I'm working with. I link them down in the comments, comments as well, if you want the best possible marketing out there. Okay, that's it for the video. If you want to understand more about PPC in depth, then I suggest you watch the upcoming video.